in this video, I will teach you how to prune a Chinese elm and make cuttings to make new trees. To prepare the tree, I first need to prune some of the roots. There are too many. I will cut the ones at the top so we can see more of the trunk. This root will soon grow into another tree, just like how we take cuttings to make new trees. I will hold it in the training pot and add some Akadama soya. Soon, I will have a new Chinese elm from the cutting. This one was also a root from the different tree. Next, I have to prune the leaves. I will cut all the leaves because uh, they use a lot of energy. Don't worry, it will grow back very soon. It will take about uh, half an hour to cut off all the leaves. You can also use your fingers to pull them off. Cut all the leaves down, just like this one. In about two weeks, new leaves will begin to grow. This one has a bigger trunk and uh, can be repot. I have a video about that in the description. When it grows back, you can make it shaped like a triangle. Usually, Chinese elm is uh, grow from seed, but uh, you can use it roots, trunk, or branch to make cuttings. The traced roots are even better. This was grow from seed in the training pot for two months. When you cut the roots, the trees will lose energy, so you need to cut all the leaves to balance the energy. Soon, it will grow new roots and the new leaves again. The traced roots are beautiful because uh, they have uh, a natural movement. You can use wire to create more movement in the trunk. You can also twist the roots together like this for around three months. This technique is called fusion. After four months, you can change it to a pot. Merge it with a rock or a flat stone. See my Kokodama Bonsai tutorial video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe and uh, notification button.